best gift I can give you is not to ramble, and I will try, uh, but no promises. I have taken to heart your very on-point advice, less is more, but uh, I admit now I may not be able to live up to that standard today. I do know Keith has a plan to tackle us if we take too long, so I will try to keep this brief. Um, no promises except that whatever I say will inevitably fall short of fully capturing the value of the contributions you've made to every single aspect of our M9 program. Um, and that's how they're delivered at the base, the region, and throughout the world. As well as the gratitude we all feel for your leadership, expertise, advocacy, and support. Liz, you know the old saying about retirement, half the pay, twice the husband. <laughs> I know following Ron into installation at nine, what it's like to be the spouse of someone in this industry and how much Peter, my husband, had help at weekend events. And I saw you at those same events. Um, I know as he moved into the region, he was answering emails on weekends and holidays and phone calls, a lot of which were from me. Um, so thank you for uh, your patience and your support of him. And wish you both the best in your adventure. Um, Ron, I've learned so much from you in the 13 years since we first met at MBSD. I did not know what an N9 was, but I'll tell you what many people said to me when I became an N9. I don't know what you do, but you seem really busy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I thought at first N9 was. Um, but you took a chance on me as the first non-MWR N9. Uh, you allowed me opportunities I never envisioned for myself. I have lots of fun facts about grease traps and hoods now. Um, it's a real joy to have dinner with me in a restaurant. <laughs> but, uh, my life is forever changed for the better because of how you pushed me to explore new things. Um, I do still want to apologize on behalf of Wendy and Cheryl and others for not winning you that go-kart cup at El Centro. Um, they tried our best. They cheated. The other teams definitely cheated. Ron's pulled us all together in a huddle and he said, team, you suck. <laughs> 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 we tried to win for you, Ron. We really did. Um, my life is forever changed for the better by these opportunities you've given me. And the amazing but not surprising thing is that's true for most of the people in this room and many, many people who can't be here today. What you built in your time at N9 has meaningfully and positively influenced the lives of countless sailors, civilians, retirees, reservists, and their families. We're an awesome N9 team because of your leadership and your focus on always doing what was right for the sailor and the family never being afraid to take risks or ask questions and you know i asked a lot of questions <laughs> and always looking for chances to innovate modernize and find new ways to do the job better and smarter not competing with each other but competing with where we were last quarter or last year this is the culture you built it's made a lasting impact and it will endure i want you to know that i anticipate asking myself what would ron do early and often <laughs> And uh, I appreciate very much all the leadership lessons you have given me. You've always been there for all of us, all the time, no matter what. And although it's me that stands here today, I want you to know that I speak for our whole N91 team in the deepest appreciation of your leadership and your support. So most of you probably know that the logo for Fleet and Family Support Programs is the Lighthouse. We see it all the time, but we don't often think about it. The thing about lighthouses is they aren't needed for deep, calm seas. They're there to navigate us through tricky currents, rocky shores, times of danger and stress. They stop us from running aground and they light the path forward even when it's unclear, foggy, stormy, or downright perilous. Ron, you have been that lighthouse in our lives. The path you have set for us remains illuminated. The light you have shared will continue to shine as we commit to maintaining the standards you set and try to emulate the example you are to all. You taught us that we did not always have to succeed, <coughs> zoomed up, but it's always <laughs> worth taking the risk to better support the fleet fighter and family because they are the reason we're here. I think all of us within N9 know this is more than a job, it's a calling. They're, these are vocations, they're consuming, demanding, we're asked again and again and then we're asked some more. And just when we think things might calm down, we're asked even more. You answered this call again and again. You served in ways that made our Navy stronger and more resilient, and you will be very missed. Ma'am, are you there? Okay. Uh, it is the tradition of the Navy to wish the departing guest of honor fair winds and following seas. I wish you and Liz the fairest winds. 
I would like the C's not to take you too far away because I may need a few texts <laughs> as all of the two days of turnover that we can look forward to together. Um, but I am honored to have served with you. I hope you know how much we value your sacrifices, your leadership, and your dedication. So I'd like to invite the N91 team to stand. They're not going to come over because there's not a lot of room, but we'd like to present you, Ron, with this small token of our appreciation. So you don't have to open it all here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, open those before you open the other one, okay? <laughs>